this is an English edition of Dalsan TV. My name is Abdul Razak Ali. Now let's take a look at some of the stories that we have prepared for you. Hirshavele Vice President calls for non-politicization of Hawale clan chief inauguration. Nisa Director, federal lawmakers start Al-Shabaab meeting, meetings in Beledwene town. Welcome back. Now the Director of the Somali National Intelligence and Security Agency, Nisa, Abdullahi Mohamed Ali Sambolol Sheh met with residents and traditional elders in Beledwene to strengthen the fight against the militant group Al-Shabaab. The director of the Somali National Security and Intelligence Agency, Nisa Abdullahi Mohamed Ali Sambolosh, met with residents and traditional elders in Beledwene on Saturday to strengthen the fight against Al-Shabaab. The director, along with members of the Somali parliament and other elders, arrived in Beledwen ahead of the inauguration of Yugas Yusuf Yugas Hossan Yugas Khalif, chief of the Hawadul clans, scheduled for May 13. Sambilash emphasized the importance of collaborative efforts between the government and the community to eliminate terrorist threats in the region. Members of the federal parliament, traditional elders, and community groups expressed their commitment to enhancing their role in fulfilling the government's promise to eradicate terrorism across the country. Hirshabel State Vice President Yusuf Ahmed Hagar acknowledged that the long-standing political conflict between politicians in the Hiran region and the authorities of Hirshabel State has hindered the development and called for its immediate resolution. Hirshabel State President Yusuf Ahmed Hagar Dabagad acknowledged that the long standing political conflict between politicians in the Hiran region and the authorities of Hirshabel State has hindered the state's development and called for its immediate resolution. The Vice President made the remarks upon arriving the Beledwene on Saturday for inauguration of Ugas Yusuf Ugas Hassan Khalif, chief of the Hawale clan. Yusuf Dabagad emphasized that the every past petroleum could be resolved. Yusuf Dabagad emphasized that every past problem could be resolved and asked the people of Iran region to forgive him for any personal grievances they have made with him. The vice president of Hirshavele had the elders and politicians not to politicize the inauguration of the chief of the Hawale clans following controversy over the ceremony's location. Traditional elders from the Bulaburte district are advocating for the event to be relocated to El Der, the Haro Ugasa, a historically significant site for such ceremonies. They argue that preserving traditional is crucial and have sought support for, from other Hawale communities. This issue has raised concerns about the current plans which have already faced several postponements. Now on to our last story. Israel has told tens of Palestinians to leave Rafah as it intensifies military operations in southern Gaza. Smoke rises over Rafah on Saturday as Israel calls for Palestinians to evacuate and head to what it calls an expanded humanitarian area in Al Mawasi. It's a further indication that the military is pressing ahead with its plans for a ground attack on Gaza's southern city. That's despite heavy US pressure and alarm expressed by residents and humanitarian groups. In a post on social media site X, a military spokesperson called on residents and displaced people in 12 neighborhoods in the enclave to go immediately to the shelters west of Gaza City. <laughs> Gaza resident Nidal says despite the warning, he is unable to evacuate. <laughs> he told Reuters he doesn't have a tent as they were all distributed yesterday, nor does he have cash to get a vehicle to move his belongings. These evacuations follow overnight Israeli jet strikes across the enclave. Israel's military said it was continuing precise operational activity against Hamas fighters in eastern Rafah and on the Gazan side of the Rafah crossing. On Friday, Israeli tanks captured the main roads dividing Rafah's eastern and western sections, effectively encircling the eastern side in an assault that has caused Washington to hold up delivery of some military aid to its ally. The latest evacuation orders came hours after internationally mediated ceasefire talks appeared to falter, with Hamas saying Israel's rejection of the truce offer returned things to square one. Israel says it wants to reach a deal under which hostages would be released 
in exchange for the freeing of Palestinian prisoners held by Israel, but that it is not prepared to end the military offensive which was triggered by a Hamas-led attack on southern Israel on October 7th. 1,200 people were killed and more than 250 people were taken hostage in the attack, according to Israeli tallies. Israel's military operation in Gaza, which it says aims to eliminate Hamas, has killed close to 35,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza's health ministry. Thank you so much for watching Dalsan TV English News. Have a lovely evening.